Hi and welcome to the 100% Club. Today I'll be showing you how to get from Earth with Love on Sirius M4. The location is chapter 15, from Earth with Love. What you need to do is defeat the final boss. I have a video guide that shows you exactly how to get to him and how to kill him. Now what? Huh? Strange things are afoot in the Arctic Circle. Hey, Sam! Who are you? I'm you, from the future. It's complicated, just roll with it. Eh, it's not the weirdest thing that's happened this week. Listen up, your team's safe. Hellfire took care of that, but that weasel brand has the grail and is headed for the portal now. In this version of the timeline, you landed too far to the east. But don't worry, I got you covered. Thanks, buddy. Good to know I have my back. What can I say? We're a great guy. Sir, the pyramid is done charging. All right, I'm coming. That was... interesting. Quinn, I need a route to the portal. Sam? I, I thought you were dead. I got better. What happened? This thing doesn't have GPS. No, I meant to you. What happened to you? Oh, the usual stuff. Got drugged on a train, jumped from a plane, talked to my future self, and now I don't know how to get to Tunguska. I... I don't even... <sighs> okay. Okay, give me a sec. Thanks, Quinn. Always a pleasure. This is non-standard use of vehicle. Fly me to the noon. I do not understand. No? How about, uh, don't lose your head? You confuse me. Is this joke? Okay, soldier. You have no sense of humor. Which way to the big battle? Thanks. Have a nice day. It is not likely. This is Bill at Radio Free Earth with a thought for today. You know, we humans, we've spent the last few millennia constantly at war with one another. And to be perfectly honest, most of it for really dumb reasons. It's actually quite tragic. But maybe we can turn it around. Maybe it means something. Because now, now we have to fight. And if Bill Corwin here with another edition of Memories of Earth. I don't know about you, dear listeners, but when I was a kid, my mom and pop would take me on these endless hikes in the Appalachians. The forest basically started in our backyard. It was big, it was green, and I hated it. Because if you're 16 and would rather hang out at the mall or play video games, then this is about the worst thing your parents can do to you. But now we spend our days driving in armored cars, from air raid shelters to military bunkers to abandoned subway stations. We break down our setup and relocate about two or three times a week for security reasons. And I really don't get to see much of the outside world, let alone a forest. And the Appalachians are a big smoking crater at any rate. So I guess I miss the outdoors and hiking through the stupid, monotonous forests full of songbirds and thumper and bambi and whatnot. 
because some things you only miss once they're gone. This was Bill Corwin on Radio Free Earth, wishing for a little bit of blue on the horizon. Thousands of years of really good at it. You hear that, Mitchell? Why does everyone think they are a comedian? And you're not getting it. Sam, are you on foot? What happened to the snowmobile? Had to ditch it in a canoe's face. Ah, hurry up or you'll miss all the fun. I'm working on it. Don't worry, I'll save you a few.
should be able to make radio contact with the others soon. Sam, it is imperative that you stop General Brandt. The artifact he has stolen contains a powerful neutrino generator. Its neutron flux capacity is unparalleled. It must not fall into mental hands. I have no idea what you just said. You must kill General Brandt. Now that I understand.
guys, I'm pretty sure the big battle's the other way.
Who started the party without me? You're late! Good to have you back, boss. Sam, I'm sending you the coordinates to a resupply point. I suggest you head there. You say the cleverest things. I know. He's around somewhere. Thank <laughs> you. 
Have a little C4. Break the holy grail. Yep. That thing's gonna blow! Yep. Hey, boys. Did you miss me? You're right on top. Wanna go for a ride? Say hi to the big fella. You betcha. Open wide. went straight to his head. I would have said, don't lose your head. I already did that one today. That was one hell of a migraine. 
This is getting very cerebral. Things came to a head. Brain drain is a serious issue. Talk about a head rush. I guess he couldn't get it out of his head. No, no, wait, I got it. We blew his mind. Perfect. Yep, that's the one. I hate it when I come up with the right one-liner five minutes after I kill the monster. Yeah, it's the worst. The life so short, the craft so long to learn. I had pun block for a week once. It's uh, never happened to me. You think this is the end? Do you think you've won? You have no idea what Tahum is capable of. He will destroy this planet, and nothing. Just in case. Oh, and uh, by the way, tell Mental, Earth says hi. I jumped out of the plane. If this right video guide was helpful, coach. please smash that survive? like button so that more achievement hunters like you guys can get the guides they deserve an and get back on track to 100% completion. If there's any game suggestions that you want 100% completion guides of, please leave them down in the comments below and smash that subscribe button so that you can get notified when I release them. And I'll see all of you guys on your next achievement hunt. Yeah, that'd be crazy. There's a hypothesis. So, how did you guys escape from the harvester? Oh, it was so badass. It was gross. They tried to probe us. <laughs> what? Nobody tried to probe me. Me neither. Carter, I think they singled you out. Did you tell them one of your theories? Sorry, I mean hypotheses. Well, you would have been next. They went after me first because of my intel. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Man, <laughs> that was a long mission. Oh, yeah. At least we got to see the sights. You know, Rome was pretty cool. Especially the Vatican. You know, before Sam blew it up. Hey, I only blew up part of it. France was awesome. But I'm part French, you know, I'm biased. You're part French, too? Of course. French is the language of love, and I am all about the loving. Ew. Yo, pass me the marshmallows. Rodriguez ate them all. Damn it. Let's call Quinn and order more. You know, she's a communications officer, not your personal assistant. We're out of beer. Damn it. Quinn, we need more beer. Hey, you remember when Kenny lost his shoe? Poor Kenny. He was a good kid. I wish Father Mikhail was here. So you could torture the poor man with your theories? Well, I choose to believe that he enjoyed our conversations. Man, I wish we could kill Brand some more. How many times have we saved the Earth now? I don't know, like seven, eight? Are we counting Beijing? Definitely. What about Oslo? I don't think that counts. Plus, you ran over that nun. I keep telling you guys, she came out of nowhere. How many more times do you think we can pull this off, saving the planet? As many as we have to. 
No way we're all gonna make it. Speak for yourself. Well, whoever's left at the end will have to find a way. There's always a way. Sometimes it requires dynamite, but it's always there. Wow, that got dark fast. I got beer. Quinn, you came. Beer, you came. You are my personal assistant. Oh, shut up, Hellfire. A toast. Let's raise our beers in memory of absent friends. To Jones. Miss you, buddy. To Father Mikhail. I hope they let you take your shotgun into heaven. To Kenny. You were just getting the hang of it. So, where do you think they'll send us next? Someplace warm would be nice. But not too humid. How about Egypt? Americano. Nana, I have a mission for you. <laughs> CD boy. Let's do this. 